Let us talk about, massive armadillo of prehistoric time. In the vast tapestry of prehistoric creatures, one fascinating character stands out, the massive armadillo of ancient times. While today's armadillos are known for their distinctive armored shells and relatively small size, their prehistoric counterparts were giants that roamed the earth millions of years ago. This video delves into the intriguing world of the massive armadillo of prehistoric times, exploring its evolution, characteristics, and the role it played in the ancient ecosystems. The prehistoric armadillo, officially known as Glyptodon, was a colossal creature that lived during the Pleistocene epoch, around 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. Glyptodons were not just larger versions of today's armadillos, they were massive, tank-like creatures with a heavy, bony carapace covering their bodies. One of the most striking features of the massive armadillo was its armor. The carapace of Glyptodon was composed of bony plates known as osteoderms, fused together to form a protective shield. This armor served as a formidable defense against predators, making Glyptodon a well-protected herbivore in the ancient landscapes it inhabited. Glyptodons were truly giants of the prehistoric world, with some species reaching lengths of up to 13 feet, 4 meters, and weighing several tons. The sheer size of these creatures set them apart from their modern relatives, emphasizing the incredible diversity and adaptations that characterized prehistoric fauna. Despite their massive size, glyptodons were herbivores, grazing on vegetation in the ancient grasslands and forests they called home. Their robust jaws and grinding teeth were adapted to the consumption of coarse plant material, reflecting the ecological niche they occupied as large herbivores. Glyptodons were distributed across the Americas, with fossils found in regions ranging from North America to South America. They inhabited a variety of environments, from grassy plains to wooded areas, adapting to different ecosystems over the course of their evolutionary history. Like many prehistoric megafauna, glyptodons faced extinction at the end of the Pleistocene epoch. Various theories propose that a combination of factors, including climate change, human hunting, and shifts in vegetation, contributed to their decline. The exact cause remains a subject of scientific investigation and debate. Fossil discoveries of glyptodon remains have provided valuable insights into the anatomy, behavior, and ecology of these massive armadillos. Paleontologists study these fossils to reconstruct the ancient world and understand the evolutionary relationships between glyptodons and their modern descendants. The massive armadillo of prehistoric times holds cultural significance, capturing the imagination of both scientists and the general public. Representations of glyptodons appear in paleoart, documentaries, and discussions about the rich biodiversity that once flourished on Earth. The massive armadillo of prehistoric times, glyptodon, stands as a testament to the incredible diversity of life that characterized ancient ecosystems. Its imposing size, armor-clad body, and herbivorous lifestyle paint a vivid picture of a world vastly different from our own. What is the massive armadillo of prehistoric times, and how does it differ from modern armadillos? The massive armadillo of prehistoric times, known as Glyptodon, was a colossal creature that lived during the Pleistocene epoch. Unlike their modern relatives, Glyptodons were much larger, with a heavy, bony carapace covering their bodies. This distinctive armor set them apart from the smaller, more common armadillos we see today. How big were glyptodons, and what were their main physical features? Glyptodons were truly giants, with some species reaching lengths of up to 13 feet, 4 meters, and weighing several tons. Their most striking feature was the massive, fused bony plates forming a protective carapace. This armor served as a defense mechanism against predators and distinguished them from modern armadillos. Where did glyptodons live, and what type of environments did they inhabit during prehistoric times? Glyptodons were distributed across the Americas, from North America to South America. They inhabited a variety of environments, including grassy plains and wooded areas. Their adaptability to different ecosystems showcases the wide range of habitats they occupied during their evolutionary history. 
What factors contributed to the extinction of glyptodons, and why did they disappear from the Earth? The extinction of glyptodons, like many prehistoric megafauna, is thought to be influenced by multiple factors. These include climate change, human hunting, and shifts in vegetation. The exact cause of their extinction remains a subject of scientific investigation and is part of ongoing discussions in the field of paleontology. How do scientists study glyptodons, and what insights have been gained from the fossil discoveries? Scientists study glyptodons through fossil discoveries, examining skeletal remains to reconstruct their anatomy, behavior, and ecological roles. Fossils provide valuable insights into the evolutionary relationships between glyptodons and modern armadillos. Paleontologists use these findings to piece together the ancient world and understand the dynamics of prehistoric ecosystems. Like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.